opening hip internal rotation for the right leg. So you're in your hands and knee position, neutral spine. Great. You're going to find what is the end range of your passive internal rotation for your left, for your right hip. Okay. You're going to buttress your foot just up against the edge of the table. And once there, you're going to start to generate some force. So you're going to try and windshield wiper your foot back to neutral, pushing into the edge of the table. Over 30 seconds time, you're gonna gradually ramp that up to your safest, greatest contraction. How hard can you go? Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. High intensity contractions. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, after your 30 seconds, you're gonna go just as intensely without moving anything else. You're gonna dissociate that hip from the rest of your body, yep. And you're gonna peel that hip into internal rotation further as much as you can and eventually you're just going to be limited in the capacity of your hip but that's fine the deep-seated contractions that you're getting within the joint are pulling on the connective tissue of your joint capsule and of the groin tissue allowing for additional range of motion to blossom over time literally changing the architecture of your hip from the inside out with the high intensity contractions well done